This episode is made possible by PwC. A robot may not be coming for your job, but competitors are coming for your market share. At PwC, we pair the right tech with the right solutions to help you gain a competitive edge. Reimagine operations from the cloud, fuel innovation with responsible AI, and detect risks before they become headlines. That's human-led and tech-powered. It's all part of the new equation. Learn more at the newequation.com. It is Ryan here and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18. Plus. Starring Bob Hope and his special guest, Wayne Morris. Thank you very much. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob broadcasting from San Francisco Hope. Well, here we are in the Golden Gate City. I love playing in San Francisco with all these hills. It's really wonderful. When you lay an egg here, it rolls down and disappears into the bay. <laughs> the dogs here in San Francisco don't have their tails clipped. They just wear them off going down the hill. <laughs> I followed a cute little blonde down Powell Street today, but it didn't do any good. When we got to the bottom, she was two feet taller than I was. <laughs> Market Street is really something. Big buildings on each side, six streetcars in the middle, and the sidewalk on the other side if you live. <laughs> the newspaper photographers were all down at the railroad station when I arrived, but I didn't like the pictures that came out in the papers. There's no use talking. I'll have to learn to climb down those Pullman steps frontwards. <laughs> That's a joke you have to think about for a minute. I wish I'd thought about it a minute before I put it in. I went into a store here called O'Connor Moffat, and it was so crowded, O'Connor was standing on Moffat's shoulder. O'Connor was standing on Moffat's shoulders, and they were both wearing the same suit. I won't say the store was jammed, but before I got through the revolving door, three of my ribs had been gift-wrapped. And our thing's scarce. I went to four stores today, and the only two things I could find was a pair of women's bloomers, size 58, and a jade tooth. And after all, what can I do with a jade tooth? But it would have been a pleasant day here if I hadn't gotten a bright idea. I wanted to get the women away from the tie counter, so I walked to another counter and hollered, Nylon's over here. And the next thing I knew, they were flying my wife to my bedside. It's a chicken. It's a crow. It's a buzzer. Run for your lives. It's Kelowna. Once there was a little girl who lives next to me And she loved a sailor boy, I was only three Now I'm on a battleship in my sailor suit Just a great big sailor man, but I'm just as cute Well, Bobby Bobby, the navy blue She loves a sailor and he loves her too Happy of the poop deck, coat of navy blue. She's my little anchor, I'm her tanker too. Now all the girlies pass me by, but I don't care at all. She's my little brother bar, and I'm her little yarl. The reason why I think that she is so sublime, she thinks my mustache is too, too divine. Well, An 
nice day when the weather is clear. We take out our schooners and fill them full of beer. I promised we'd get married and I put out to sea. But come the fall, she bought a yawl and took out after me. I fired a friendly salvo, but she returned the blast right between the forward hatch and the mizzen mast. I was on the top deck as she came along, trying to get a native girl to sell me her sarong. I'll give you one guess. What was my reward? As I remember, nine. When this war is over, we'll sail the ocean blue. With all our little skippers making up the crew. We'll sit up on the poop, but they enjoying peace of mind. They'll be trailing in our wake, their dinghies out behind. driving over to my girl's house. Maybe snowing, but it's always spring to me when I'm with Francie. Boy, I'm really living tonight. Francis's kisses are intoxicating, and I'm in a lost weekend mood. <laughs> Funny that I go courting Francie in this sleigh. It's the same one in which Pa courted Ma. He begged and begged her all winter to marry him, and she had to wait until the spring thaw set in to answer. And then she couldn't say yes any. She was so cold, her teeth just shattered yes in Morse code. Well, here's Francie's house. Whoa, Dobbin. Is Francie home, Miss Langford? Yes, Robert, but I don't want you tracking up my carpet. Before you come in, sit down and clean that snow out from between your toes. <laughs> Hello, Robert. Oh, hiya, Francie. How do you like my earmuffs? They're nice, Robert, but... Aren't they a little large? Well, I gotta have some place to carry my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, let's go, Francie. You got the sleigh right outside. Oh, wonderful. Goodbye, Ma. I'm going out for a ride with Robert. Goodbye, dear. Don't forget to take your hat pin. <laughs> By the way, Mother, I think it's time you knew Robert Hope and I are engaged. You're engaged to Robert Hope? <laughs> That's your mother. She has to make a scene about everything. <laughs> Gee, it's still snowing. It must be getting deep. Yeah, if it keeps up all night, I'll have to put a shorter string in my yo-yo. <laughs> Well, here we are, Francie. How do you like my sleigh? Well, it's all right, but why didn't you buy a real one? Well, they're too expensive, and besides, nobody was taking a bath anyway. <laughs> Say, it's a pretty big step up into the sleigh, Francie. There, give me your arm. There you are. All right, Robert. Now you help me get in. <laughs> okay, you all set? Come on, Dobbin, get in. Come on now, get in. Robert, I know you have long eyelashes, but don't you think you ought to buy a whip? <laughs> yeah, but this way my mascara dries faster. Isn't it wonderful riding along like this, Robert? I wish we could sit a little closer together with nothing to keep us apart. Yeah, it's too bad the horse's tail froze straight back like that. <laughs> I made an appointment with a real estate agent to look at a cottage after we're married, Francie. Just think, you can, you can spend your honeymoon there. Me? Aren't you going to spend the honeymoon with me? Well, shucks, if you don't think I'd just be in the way. <laughs> oh, Robert, won't it be wonderful when we're married? Just you and I together. You helping me with the dishes, helping me with the cooking, helping me with the laundry. Yeah, I'll say I'll even help you deliver it. <laughs> Francie, there's the real estate man that's going to show us our little dream cottage. Whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. Are you the newlyweds that came out to look at the house? That's right. Rob and I are going to settle down, and in a year or two, we may have a couple of little Roberts. Oh, well, in that case, I better show you a place with trees. <laughs> going to get married, eh? Are we? Tell them, Francie, who's the itsy bitsy poopsy whoopsy is who? Why, I'm your itsy bitsy poopsy whoopsy, <laughs> Robert, and who's itsy bitsy poopsy whoopsy are you? Well, I'm your itsy bitsy poopsy whoopsy. Marry a crazy wazy or something? <laughs> ah, love, I was just married myself today. What a lovely, delightful bride. I, I kissed her for three hours without stopping. You kissed her for three hours without stopping? How come? Our mustaches froze together. <laughs> well, what about our honeymoon cottage? Well, let me show you around. Now, uh, only if you buy one of our honeymoon cottages, I always guarantee the bride a lifetime of happiness. Well, what about the groom? Let him get his own dates. <laughs> well, folks, this... This little love nest is yours for 5000 5000 Okay, we'll take it. Well, there. That's my check. It's a bad pen. Come on, friends. <laughs> what are you using, a nail kit? <laughs> Make a check out on sandpaper. Here's your... Here's my check. Come on, Francis. Let's go inside. Well, so long, sucker. <laughs> hey, hey, Francis, wait a minute. The house is moving. It's moving out into the bay. What, what kind of a place did you sell us? <laughs> <laughs> what tourist didn't recognize the Oakland Ferry? <laughs> is frightful, but the fire is so delightful, and since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, it doesn't show signs of stopping, and 
I brought some corn for pop. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we still goodbye. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. hometown boy who made good in the big fracas, one of California's contributions to the eclipse of the nips, screen star and naval flying hero, Lieutenant Commander Wayne Morris. How about that? happy to be here in San Francisco. Very happy. Very happy? Yeah. You're a Los Angeles boy, aren't you? Huh? Yes. I was born in Los Angeles, but for a while I came up here and lived in San Francisco. Oh, really? Were you a freelance agent or a member of the regular underground? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do come from Los Angeles, Bob. In fact, I lived right next door to Betty Grable until I was 10 years old, and my folks moved away. Uh, why'd they do that? Well, uh, my wisdom teeth were coming in a little bit too fast. <laughs> Well, Wayne, that's life for you. You live next door to a girl like Betty Grable, and you get old enough to appreciate it, and some other guy horns in. Yes, it's too bad it wasn't you. You could have given him some competition. Well, it's great for opening my fan mail, anyway. I've been looking around the town. San Francisco, San Francisco has really changed a lot lately, hasn't it? Yeah, the civilians are walking on the sidewalks again. <laughs> Say, you were a lieutenant commander, weren't you, Wayne? Just what is that? Well, that's a rank about halfway between Nimitz and Popeye. <laughs> Popeye, that's a sailor in San Francisco on a windy day. But, uh, Wayne, I understand. <laughs> Come along, we'll have fun. Wayne, I understand you had three planes shot out from under you. Say, did you ever get the feeling you weren't coming back? Never, Bob. I always knew I'd come back. I had to come back. Well, what made you so sure? Warner Brothers had it in my contract. <laughs> well, it's nice to have it. Who's that? <laughs> That's like a mic fixing a mic, isn't that something? Skinny Ennis came up and adjusted the mic. What, are you picking up a little side money, kid? <laughs> They're pretty strong up here, you know. What, what do you want, Cap? Okay, let's move on. <laughs> this got a nasty look from the producer. Where are we here? Oh, yes, there. Well, you said Warner Brothers had it in my contract. <laughs> then I say... <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if we had 45 minutes, huh? <laughs> Well, it was nice to have it down in black and white. That was supposed to be a laugh until Bones came up there. <laughs> you know, Wayne, by the way, my brother was shot down three times. How'd that happen, Bob? Well, the ladder was short, the wall was tall, and the warden was looking. <laughs> hey, but now that you're out 
out, Wayne. I suppose you're going back to Warner Brothers. Naturally, uh, but my lovemaking is a little rusty. Say, have you seen their new star, Lauren Bacall? Yeah, a nice sort of rust remover, isn't she? <laughs> but you do all right, Wayne. I notice these waves in the audience really go for you. Oh, no, Bob. It's just that I knew a lot of these girls. Met them overseas. Really? Well, I'd like to get a date tonight with a gorgeous girl. Got memories, huh? Well, look, I'd like to get a date tonight with a gorgeous girl. Uh, you think you could fix me up? Mm-mm. Uh, not enough. N- it's only paper moon sailing over cardboard sea, but it wouldn't be make believe. If you believed in me Yes, it's only a candle sky Hanging over a muslin tree But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Now your love It's a honky-tonk parade Without your love It's a melody play And a penny I'll say It's a Barnum and Bailey world Just as phony as it can be but it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me. pilot on the intercom. Gunner to pilot. Gunner to pilot. Here's your party. Deposit ten cents, please. (laughs) Boy, they really found jobs for those waves, didn't they? (laughs) Hey. Hey, Lieutenant. Target at four o'clock. Boy, I got him in my sights. Take that. Ha <laughs> ha, winged him. Take this. And this. And this. Ha <laughs> I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, that's nice work, Hope. That's the third seagull you've downed today. Yeah, one more and I get the bronze egg. There's our carrier down there. I'm going to land. All set, Hope. Here we go in for a landing. Well, you think it'd have been better if we'd let both wheels down? Jiggers, Jiggers, here comes the skipper. Attention, men. Who was flying that plane? I said, who was flying that plane? Speak up. Don't stand there pointing at each other. I was flying it, Commander Ennis. Oh, you again, huh? Every time you land, you crack up a plane. What made you do that? I used to run a parking lot on Powell Street. <laughs> Sir. And none of your lip, Lieutenant. None of your lip. Ensign. Seaman. Civilian. Are you finished, sir? No, I'm not finished. Ah, 
not, just as I thought. Pink ones with the lace on them. I'll get them back to you in the morning, sir. <laughs> I would like to make my flight report now, sir. At 1620 o'clock, we encountered a flight of seven zeros. Tail Gunner Hope shot all of them down in flames. Excellent, Hope. I'm proud of you. Oh, they were easy, sir, especially the first four when I still had ammunition. You shot down three zeros in flames after you were out of ammunition? Yes, sir. Used incendiary spitballs. Incendiary spitballs? Yes, sir. The only tough thing about it is now I'll have to wait until I get back to the States to finish Forever Amber. <laughs> Gentlemen, in view of your achievements, I have these medals. Presidential citations. These presidential citations arrived from Alabama only this morning. From Alabama? Yes, Alabama, gentlemen. A toast to Jefferson Davis. <laughs> All right, men, dismiss. All right, men, come and get it. You spam spaniels. Hello, are you the chef? Well, I don't always sift flour through my mustache. Right. Before you eat, how about a drink? A drink? Yes, I'll mix up one of my specialties, a Knob Hill cocktail. A Knob Hill cocktail? Is it strong? Strong. One drink and your knob goes over the hill. <laughs> hey, now I've got a surprise for you, men. When you eat your plum pudding, one of the portions will have a beautiful 10-carat diamond ring in it. Gee, I hope I'm the lucky guy. Wait a minute. The cook made the pudding, and he'll take the portion with the ring for himself. Oh, nonsense, Hope. I'm an honest man. I wouldn't stoop to such low tactics just for a little old ten cat and diamond ring. <laughs> well, let's start eating and see who the lucky man is. <laughs> Quite a bit of flu going around, isn't it?
Okay. Thank you very much, Wayne Morris, for being with us tonight. And all you people, here, thanks for the memory of a swell visit in one of America's favored and one of our favorite cities. Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. David's Bridal, where brides and bridesmaids get fabulously dressed. We let our friends pick out what we wear, show off our dance moves, obsess over every little detail, hold your hand through it all, smile bravely when it's time to let go, make your dreams come true. The things we do for love, only at David's Bridal. 